Okay. For this particular session, uh, I want to show that it is possible to import a CSV file into a database such as the Microsoft Access. All right, that facilitate uh, you migrating from one database to another database or to migrate uh, data from one table in another database to another table in another database. All right. Uh, first, let me show you the CSV file is here, All right, which actually stands for Comma Separated Value, CSV. And the reason that it is showing a Microsoft Access, uh, a Microsoft Excel uh, icon is because I have set the default to open CSV in Microsoft uh, Excel, but uh, you may probably see a notepad type of icon. But to show you what the content, let me open it using the notepad. And CSV is nothing more than data being separated by comma, right? Comma separated value. So this is a data, and all the way up to here is another data all the way up to here is another data and another data and another data then the next record and so forth and so forth all right so you can actually export the data uh, from a table into a csv then import in to another database right. and let me just close this all right go to ss uh create a okay empty database I'll just create one okay of course it will create a table one uh, but it doesn't really matter so I want to get those data into my database they are external data and of course they are a lot that you can already use like you can import from uh, Excel spreadsheet or HTML documents and so on but I want to import a CSV file and just now I've shown that the CSV file can actually be opened in the text file format so I will choose the text file alright so where is the file so let me just go to the file just now so this is the CSV file alright right here so I'll open this alright so I can see it's a CSV file you can see the extension is a CSV okay because uh, there are a number of options here no, either to append or to go into a new table so right now I'll just import it into a new table okay and they ask me the first thing is is it delimited or fixed width fixed width basically means that the data have a set of fixed location all right the a set of fixed width where I can actually say this particular field is what is the size okay since it's a CSV right comma separated value right? so I know that the there is a delimited character and in my case it's a comma right? or it could be other like tab and semicolon all right so I will choose the delimiter click next and what are the delimiter that separated my field so csv is comma but they can you can use other form of delimiter you can see that right so you can use tab not often use semicolon yes space not often use or you can use other then you specify it here okay uh is the first row contain the field no because mine have no field okay no field okay they are all records they are all data all right and how do text is quantified well my text just now is quantified by double quote so I choose double quote all right or most of the time it could be single quote or double quote most of the time all right so I'll click next and I can actually set the field name one by one if I want to with the data type and whether it is import or whether I do not want to import that particular field all right uh, but right now I'm not gonna do this 
okay i can do it later on as well once the data is actually inside the table so i will click next and they will ask me okay primary key do i want to have a primary key do i want to let ss add a primary key maybe no because i have a few here that i can use as a primary key so i can say okay i choose my own primary key so which field okay so field one is my primary key so you will set this field one as the primary key uh, or maybe you don't have a primary key or you can do it later then you will choose no primary key so right now i will choose my own primary key right as field one and I will click next and they will ask me what's the table to import it in so let's say I just leave it as CSV all right and I click finish okay uh, do I want to save the step the import step um, no most of the time because I'm not gonna do this import all the time it's just to show what it can be done and if it is you're going to do this many many times all right let's say on the daily uh, basis or a weekly basis you may want to save the step then it will save you some time right. so i will close this and i will see another table csv okay and you can see oh okay all the i'll close this let me close the table right. so all the few mm, arrange okay all the few are arranged okay uh i can still make changes to them definitely or right. you can still design them you can still make uh changes to them all right you can still rename your field okay you can still rename your data type but this is just to show that uh csv can be used all right to import or export data from a database such as your uh, Excel, uh, your this SS database, all right.